everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making balsamic tomatoes on tilapia. If you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. I start out off with my balsamic vinaigrette early in the morning. I'm making this to make sure it's sugar free for me. If you already have a favorite brand that you like or you have a recipe that you already know that you love, go ahead and use that in place of this. But combine all the ingredients, add your salt and pepper, your garlic, the brown sugar or honey if you use that instead equal parts of balsamic vinegar and olive oil and mix this all up. You can store it inside of a jar and keep it up to a week on your countertop if you want to. Now for our tomato recipe. I'm just using these regular tomatoes on a vine because that's what I had, but if you have cherry tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, whatever tomatoes that you want to use, use those instead. I am using perilla leaves because it's what I have and I didn't want to waste anything. But if you can't find perilla leaves, go ahead and use basil in place of it. I just stacked all mine together and I'm just slicing them thinly and then I'm going to cut them in half to make them a little bit smaller. Make sure you discard the stem of it. Once you have everything nicely chopped up, go ahead and put everything inside of a bowl. I'm using about a tablespoon of olive oil, some salt and pepper to taste, and a couple of teaspoons of the vinaigrette that we had just made. I'm going to give this all a good mix and let this sit in the refrigerator until dinner time. Remember, I am starting this all early in the morning just so I can make dinner that much faster for myself later. Okay, it's been about eight hours. I went ahead and grabbed my pan, heated it up, added some olive oil into it, and I am going to just cook my tilapia right on top. Go ahead and season this with salt and pepper on top while it's cooking. You don't have to use tilapia, use whatever white fish that you prefer or something milder. After a few minutes, you'll notice your fish isn't as opaque around the edges. Go ahead and flip it at that time, season it the exact same way until it's cooked through. I placed my fish on top of a bed of lettuce, added my tomatoes right on top, some more of the perilla leaves, and then added some balsamic vinegar dressing all over it. If you guys like this recipe, please subscribe, and until the next meal, thank you for watching, watch me cook.